Hi there, I'm here to show you all the cool things you can do with Patronum, the G Suite Manager. In this short video, we're going to show you how to configure email signatures, using the powerful policy feature within Patronum. First, we need to start by creating a policy using the policy editor. We need to give our policy a name and a description to help us identify the policy we're creating. Within the policy, we can set conditions so that the policy we've created only applies to users or people within an organizational unit, a Google group, or exclude members of a specific group. We can also filter our policy using attributes such as department, so that only members of the sales department will be affected by this policy. From the signature section within the policy, we can begin to add personal details such as first name and last name. Followed by some company details, job title, as well as email address and a contact number. We can also add static information here we've added a website address. We can also adjust the colors and the font style. We can also edit the HTML directly by selecting the source button. Here we have access to Patronum's advanced HTML editor, which allows you to edit both in HTML, as well as the email signature directly. Now that we're happy with our design, we can preview it to see what it would look like, taking our details from the Google directory. If you don't want to create an email signature from scratch, then you can choose from one of the many professionally designed email signature templates. From here you can choose from our ever-growing selection of email templates designed exclusively for Patronum. After you've selected your email template, you can change the colors and the fonts to match your corporate branding. When we're happy with our choice, simply select Add, to include the design within our policy. And as before, we can preview our work to check the signature design, populated with information from our Google directory. Now simply update the signature, and then select Save and Activate, in order to automatically synchronize the email signature with our predefined list of users. Now let's make sure everything is working as expected. OK over to Gmail, here we can see we're logged in as a test user. We can compose an email message, and see that the email signature we configured in Patronum, has been pulled through to the email account. Looking for more tips just like this? Follow Patronum on Twitter, Facebook or LinkedIn.